watch out! <laughs> You're gonna take responsibility, right? Responsibility? My name is Keiichi Sato. I'm an ordinary male student who can be found anywhere. This is a person in this school who is the opposite of me. That is, the student council president is always so dignified, like an ice queen. Her name is Noah Kasuga. She is one year my senior and is the student council president. She is the one that everyone looks up to. Well, I don't have any interaction with her. Only looking at her like this every day. Okay, let's just go home. Huh? I just heard a scream! Oh, watch out! Mm -hmm. Huh? Something touched on my... Was it her lips? I... I'm sorry! That was... I mean, it wasn't on purpose! <gasps> you were about to fall, you know? So, I just wanted to help! Uh. It's true! I swear! I'm sorry! Did you just say you didn't do it on purpose? Um, yeah, I did say that. I thank you for saving me. However, even though you kissed me, are you going to get away by just saying sorry? No, I didn't mean to, but... Even though it was an accident, you steal my kiss! You know what I mean? Ugh, I don't know what she'll make me do. But it's not the vibes that I can say no. Got it. Then what's your grade and name? I'm Keiichi Sato, a second year student. Then Keiichi, I'm looking forward to it from now on. Huh? Looking forward to it? I wasn't quite sure what was going on, but I thought I was forgiven when I saw her face with a satisfied smile. But actually, that wasn't it. Hmm. I'm very much looking forward to tomorrow. Hey, Sato! The student council president wants to see you! What? Me? Keiji, good morning! Um... I thought you wanted me to do something? I just came to see you, since we're lovers, right? What? She said lovers? Keiichi's dating that student council president? I'm so jealous! I never heard that we were dating either! President, where are you going on your date with Keiichi? I have no obligation to tell you. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh. Yes, Keiji? Her attitude towards me is completely different from others. Keiji, let's go home together. I'll wait for you forever, even if you need to do something right now. President. Aw, don't call me like I'm a stranger. I want you to call me Noah. Uh, Noah, you don't have to go that far. We're not in a relationship. Not in a relationship? Huh? Even though you told me yesterday. Got it. I didn't think that meant we were going out, you know? What else could it mean? Well, things will never change if he's like this. Huh? What did you say? Nothing. I said it was time to go home. To our house, of course. Our house? Yes, it's our house. You guys leave the rest to you. Yes, ma'am! Huh? What? Who are you? We're the girls who worship President Noah Kasuga. So let's go. 
Wow! Could this house be... Did you get it? Yes, this is my house. But from today on, it will be yours too. And now, finally, just the two of us. My parents are on a long business trip overseas right now, and there is no one to interfere with us. So, you'll take the responsibility, right? Responsibility for what? Oh, you're so good at playing dumb. When shall we get married? <gasps> but first, let's have a real kiss. Not an accident. I don't mind if you do it now. Whoa, whoa, Noah, stop! What is it? Is there something else on your mind? <laughs> Plenty! Even if you said that we're going to live here from now on, uh, I don't even have my clothes and other necessities. And I haven't even told my parents anything. I've already notified your parents. Huh? I told them that you were planning to get married and that you wanted to live with him as a rehearsal, and they agreed to it most willingly. I guess because my parents are a married couple who eloped, so they kind of like this forceful method. I can see them happily nodding their heads. Let's go get your personal belongings together later. If you're not ready for it yet, I'll wait as long as I have to. As we live together like this, you'll get to know me better, and one day, we'll really get married. <laughs> no right to refuse, huh? Refuse? You want to? No, I didn't say anything. Even though she's so cold in school, actually, she's so passionate or obsessive. I didn't know if she had this kind of aspect. And so, our shared life together started abruptly. Hey, Keiji, stay still. I can at least put on a tie by myself. But I still want to do it for you. Yeah. You look dashing today, too. Th th thank you. I put my heart and soul into making this for you. Enjoy the meal. There's even my favorite food. When did I tell her? You didn't have to make it so fancy in the morning. KG, are you the type of person who doesn't eat much in the morning? It's not that. It's just, if it's this fancy, it's a burden for you, isn't it? What time did you get up? You are caring for me. As long as you eat well, I'm motivated, so don't worry about it. Wow, every single one is delicious. I'm home. I'm a little tired today. KG, you must be tired, huh? A hug for your return. Hugging with Noah, I can feel her body heat, and it really heals me. Well, apart from that, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I can hear your heartbeat. Pretend you can't hear it. Oh, I'm sleepy. Oh, well then. Wanna sleep here? Uh, no, no, uh, no. It's okay. I'll go to bed. No, come on. Let me stay like this a little longer. I can't sleep if you do this to me. At first, I was a bit confused. But then I started to get used to living with her. Around that time, a career guidance meeting was held at the school. My future path, huh? To be honest, I still haven't decided which university to go to or what career I want to pursue in the future. But I want to become a more dependable adult. I want to become the kind of man who can support those in need and those who are important to me. Oh, KG, 
Archie. Don't move. Am I going to be okay being like this? It's true that Noah is thoroughly devoted to me, and I feel comfortable with that, but... I'll at least do the tie myself from now on. What? What's going on all of a sudden? You let me do it until now. I originally did it all by myself. I can't depend on you that much. Maybe because of the career guidance meeting the day before, I thought I shouldn't always be depending on her that much. I can't suddenly become a dependable guy, but it's important to start small, right? Um, Keiichi? Oh, Noah, what's wrong? You know, about after school today, recently the student council's workload has been piling up and it's getting to the point where we have to start dealing with it. So let's go home separately today, okay? Oh, that's fine. Then, I don't have a choice. You can work until you are satisfied. I think I've been keeping her to myself too much until now. Yeah. Thanks, Keiji. It's been a long time since I went home alone. I've been with Noah all the time recently. Oh, that reminds me. I left my favorite game at my parents' house. And knowing that Noah was going to be home late that day, I decided to go pick up the things I had forgotten. I'm home! Oh, KG, it's been a while. Are you and Noah getting along well? Yeah, kind of. I've been spoiled in so many ways, uh, to the point where I'm thinking about becoming a little more independent. I was surprised when I got a call from Noah out of the blue, but she's a polite and nice girl, and she's got a good eye for taking a liking to you. Actually, you're not bad, hmm. <laughs> hey, tell me more about what kind of girl she is. Perhaps it was because I hadn't been home for a while. We had a lively conversation. Before I knew it, it was already dark. I was getting late back home. I'm home! Huh? Noah? KG, did you get fed up with me? Why? Noah! <laughs> <laughs> what am I missing? I'll become prettier for you. I'll do housework more perfectly. Please don't disappear from me. Noah, please calm down. I I can't calm down because because this morning when I tried to tie your tie as usual, you looked annoyed. You must have gotten tired of me. That was And even now you went home without telling me! I know that when I see your GPS! When did she put it on? I want you to tell me if you're sick of me! What am I missing? What do I have to do to make you stay with me forever? Tell me! Why did you go that far? Because I like you! More than anything in this world! I really want to be with you! Even if I have to give up everything. But you don't like a girl like that, do you? I fell in love at first sight when I almost fell down the stairs. I really love you, so don't leave me. I didn't know you felt that way about me. Noah, the calm and cool student council president disappears somewhere when you're with me, huh? That's right. That's how much I love you. If you think about it for a moment, you'll get it. If I didn't like you, I wouldn't have come back here like this. Huh? I was drawn to the expressions and gestures you showed only to me, and the depth of your heart that accepted all of me. Just as you planned, I got to know you and fell in love with you. But... 
did you come home late? I just went home to pick up something I forgot. It's been a while since I saw Mom, so we got hyped up talking about you. About me? Mom seems to have taken a great liking to you after just one phone call with you. She asked me what kind of girl you were, so I was talking about how attractive you were, and it got totally late. Then, what about when you refused to let me tie your tie this morning? That was, well, I was wondering if I should tell you because it was my problem. The other day, I had a career guidance meeting, right? And I was thinking about something. What do you mean by something? I'm very comfortable with your depth. However, I feel that if I continue to rely on you, I won't be able to protect my important person. I mean, you. So, in order to grow to be a reliable man, I made a small resolution to at least wear a tie myself. Is that so? In case you haven't noticed, I'm looking to get married to you, so... Really? So, can we have a real kiss now? Well, why don't we go to the living room first? No! Right now! Okay, Noah. There was a huge misunderstanding, but finally, we became a couple. Now, we were going to start a relationship on the premise of marriage. Since then, our relationship has progressed smoothly, and we are both now university students. Noah is still trying to take care of me, but we are getting along well in our own way. You have an interview today, right? Look, your tie is crooked. Oh, right. Thank you, Noah. Let me do it for you. Don't move, babe. I can do it myself! But I still want to do it! Thanks for watching to the end! Please subscribe to our channel!